a, uh, an oil pressure sensor or an oil sending unit, whatever you want to call it, from a 2001 Blazer. Um, since we're in North Carolina after hurricane, we're going to start off with mosquito coils under the hood here because it's just it's insane the amount of mosquitoes I'm trying to suck my eyeball juices out. <laughs> anyway, where we got to go is behind there the uh, distributor cap down there diagonal. So let me um let me get my sockets and everything out here, and I got a special socket wrench I bought. Um, went ahead and bought off Amazon. You can probably find them locally. I really didn't check that much, but they're about the same price local. I mean, online I checked, but I didn't actually go to the source. So, it's um, about the same price. So, I had to use my Amazon credits for it. But, I'll put a link below, but you could probably use a socket, a regular socket, if you really want to. I just didn't have an inch and one sixteenth uh, socket. Deep socket, anyway. Alright, so let me, um, let me go to my socket stuff and... See if I can fill this thing behind there. If not, I'm going to have to pull the distributor, or at least the cap. We'll see. I'll be back. I'm still seeing mosquitoes, but I don't know. Whatever. I may have to put my, my fan on there like I planned, but here's a deep socket. Oil pressure switch socket. Amazon's about 8 bucks. As you see, it's deep. Versus, or it's, uh, it's straight versus the other sockets, which kind of get tapered up in there. So let me um, pull out the sensor here and see if it fits in there before you even get started. Okay, so here's the uh, piece, the one sensor. I hope this is the right one. I haven't pulled it off yet, so we're trusting, uh, I don't know where we got this, O'Reilly's, I guess. We'll see. So basically, it goes down this way. Sorry. The whole thing fits down in there. And it's uh, three quarters, I think. Yeah, I don't know. It's probably three quarters. I can't read that. But that's how it works. So let's get this whole thing apart and get to it. Um, I'll be right back. Okay, so it's right here. Oh, oh yeah, that's leaking. <laughs> it's right here, straight down. It comes out at an angle about like this. From the distributor, so you want to pull the cap off. I can't find the the pull thing for the switch or the uh, plug to get it off. There's something with an elbow on top of it. I mean, I could reach in there, but I can't can't get the dang plug out. The um, the release is underneath the cap. So sorry, I'm sorry, I wasn't looking. So let me get under there and deal with that. Let me pull that off. The distributor cap and I'll be right back. I just need the camera real quick to get down there and look and see what kind of screws those are. Is it torque? Of course they're torque. Of course. Why wouldn't they be, right? Can I get back there with this? No, I can't. See, there's an elbow right there. Alright, let me get the torque kit and pull those out. That's it, the white thing down there underneath the elbow here, which I don't think comes off easily. So it's under that. A single white wire is going to it. There's the plug. So we gotta disconnect that with a slot screwdriver so I'm gonna need both hands, so let me take care of that. I'll be back. And then at least we can line it up and make sure we got the right plug. We'll see how that goes. Huge pain in the butt that was. The thing was inside. Yeah, that thing's full of oil. That's definitely leaking. That looks like more holes than I got. Yeah, screw it. We'll figure it out. Put you over here. Out of the way. Change my glove. And give me a socket on that. Can't use my favorite ratchet. The extending one that's both ways. Extends out, but that's my favorite one. But can't use that. So, bought this one on a whim. I was first working on the truck. I got my extension on there, but I don't know. Let's see if that works. 
Let me get it on there. All right, got it on there. Whew, pain in the butt. Things underneath there. I gotta get another and show you guys, but I don't know. Uh, let me get it out and we'll see where we stand. There we go. Now we're horizontal. <laughs> let me say that again. Okay, you can see where this thing's all wet inside there and uh, leaking. That's definitely, it was definitely leaking. Whether that was a problem or not, it was one of the problems. So let's compare it to the new one here. Let me pause this real quick. All right. The biggest problem was getting that clip off because um, it was on the inside of the engine side so it was really tight in there but that was a major part of it so we'll get it back on maybe I'll take a break for some <laughs> yeah <laughs> we'll get it back on and um, I'll put some foaming engine cleaner down there to clean all that off all the oil rinse it off and we'll start it and see if it's pouring out again all right all right well We'll start it first and check it over there on the, we'll move the truck over to the dirt or something over there and see if it drops oil. Um, if not, we'll clean it. Mosquitoes are insane, it's my second coil there. These were, these mosquito coils work. There, there was a Coleman one, it was like, like $2, you know, from when I was welding. But time came, winter came, it wasn't a problem. But after Hurricane, Skeeters are our are, are new, uh, our new national bird here in North Carolina. They're huge. And they're on my, my I've got a mosquito hat on. And uh, they can't really get to me on the arms. They just kind of stay above the hair. Like a, like a monkey or something. But they ain't getting on me, so. Anyway, let me get this put together. Let me take a break first and put this back together. I'll be back after it's done. I'm just going to screw it in the back there. I don't really need a video on that. Plus it'll go ten times faster. There's the, uh, socket and everything and it slipped down in there like you saw earlier um yeah like i said just it just fits in this way all the way in so all right guys let me get back to this and uh you know i'm gonna take a break that's what i'm gonna do and then i'll be back have a good one everybody i'll be right back film screwing it in because that was really a pain in the butt because uh, because I wanted to edit out the, the language. <laughs> and uh, it was just a pain in the butt getting back in. I you know, couldn't see where I was trying to screw it in. Turns out I was screwing wrong. Like I said, it's back here, but it's really laying on like the pumpkin, I guess. Whatever that is, I don't know. The transmission. So, it's turned, the pumpkin's not a transmission, but, but whatever. I'm tired. All right, let me get started and see if it runs. Well, the new gauge is sending for sure. So, it's not fluctuating. Wife said there was a check gauges light coming on. I heard that might be related. I don't know. So, let me get outside and take a look at it and see. But that's that's good there. I mean, that was kind of kind of going up and around. I don't know if that's normal or not. I don't know. Alright, so let me get outside and check the gauges, or check the oil underneath. Alright, well, I don't see any dripping under there. I mean, it was dripping like a, uh, let me stabilize this kind of far away. It was dripping like an air conditioner on a hot day. So, pretty sure we're good. Huh. I wonder if we have any oil in there. That's something we should probably check, huh? I mean, if there's no oil, it's not going to leak. Anyway, you guys know why I'm doing these videos right now. Just to stay busy and try to bring comedy to the pain. <laughs> oh, boy. That looks good. I'll have her take it for a drive. Well, I guess I could take it for a drive. I'll take it for a drive when we're back. After I check the oil. Yeah. That seems good to me. Right? <laughs> Alright, well... Get some oil. I got to see what we got put in here. I don't know. We had it done, so I got lazy. So I have to see what they put in. At I guess a quart or so. It's low, but still. Let me get some oil. Uh, it runs good. 
everything seems okay, I'm going to go ahead and pressure wash it, or not pressure wash it, foam it and wash the oil residue off so it um, doesn't drip on the driveway because, you know, a cup of oil seems like a gallon. Um, <clears throat> everything's good. Now, remember I told you I had a fear that every time I work on a truck something bad happens to somebody I know or care about? And everybody said I was crazy? Well, guess what? Worked on this yesterday. This is the next day because I got too many mosquitoes when we got for our dear test drive. But my dad fell out of the car yesterday and twisted his leg. See? What did I tell you? I'm, I'm telling you, man. There's something going on. So, <clears throat> I don't know. But this is fixed now. But like I said, whenever I do something major, somebody something happens to somebody. I don't know. And you would think it's coincidence, but we're talking within days. And nothing happens in between them. Now, he had his chemo last night. Well, I'll do another blog on that. Or the other day. I'll do another blog on that later. Um, probably tonight. But, the truck's fine now. It's all done, and that's how you do a uh, an oil uh, pressure sensing unit, sending unit. It's a real simple job. The hardest part was getting that... Uh, that plug off there because it was inside. I put it back so it was on the outside this time. And hopefully we're all good. But like I said, I've been driving and no oil loss that I know of. Definitely not like it was. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this up. But it's a done deal now. It, that was definitely the problem. And like I said, I put new oil in there. Or uh, filled up the extra oil. But it's still got a quart actually. So there we go. Alright everybody, it's NCP. I'm going to finish this stuff up and do some shopping today and have a good day, have a good day everybody. I'm out of here.